Yeah, listen, from, from what I see and the details in, in these paintings, uh, you know, especially this one that I'm holding up, I, I mean, you've got a lot of potential. I, I can see what I can do for Friday, but, it, you know, barring it. So in the next couple of weeks, let's finalize that deal and... In 10, let me go back in 10 minutes. All right, all right. You call me John. What's your name? Jasmine Reed. Jasmine. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Raw Art TV. What's good, guys? Your girl Miles Mercury here with Raw Art TV. Today I'm sitting next to a dope creative. He gonna introduce himself. We gonna get to know him and see what he's about. Peace. I'm Sage Love, writer, director, producer, photographer, and I'm happy to be here. Oh, thank you, thank thank you, you. for coming. Of course, of course. I feel like I ain't seen you in so long, so yeah, I'm happy that we finally was able to set this up. So, well, filmmaker, you, you know, <laughs> producer, you do a whole bunch of stuff. So, how did you get the name um, Sage Love? Because I know that's not your real name, so nah. tell me the meaning behind that. Um, the When I started into like my spiritual journey and stuff mm -hmm. um like i was always the one that like people like come to as far as like advice mm -hmm. as far as like you know um seeking just like wisdom and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that like when i started to like you know dive into my own spirituality i started to like you know um figure things out for myself that i wasn't reading but it was still facts when I researched it, mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. Sound like the ancestors kind of like, like tell me stuff. Yeah. So and then um, then I just uh, wanted like a, a name that represented wisdom. Mm -hmm. So then like, um, sage popped up as like you know, a synonym for it, and I yeah. was like, oh okay, I like I like the name sage, you know. <laughs> and then um. Yeah, I like the yeah. the two. Really. Exactly. It's beautiful. Um. And then I looked up a whole bunch of other people that were considered sages, mm -hmm. you know, and then, you know, a whole bunch of uh, just people that meditate and just are known for their wisdom. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, right, I'm going to name myself sage. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, um, and the way love came about was that's like what I preach. Like, that's my religion. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, like, I don't have any, like, particular religion but love is my religion so like um love is the only way you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> no that's true that's so, very true you know sage love was just the, the perfect blend to mm -hmm. like me but i feel like i'm i'm living up to that name more than i created because like, really? i know more now yeah. than i did when i created it five years ago mm -hmm. so like, that's just like growth really. that's growth yeah exactly you're so. growing into it exactly. and now you're actually embodying like what it actually means there you go. So right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that's really dope. So I want to talk about like your childhood. Um, what kind of like films were you into growing up? Um, like my grandpa, like he he had like a whole bunch of like VHS tapes because mm -hmm. he wanted his dream was to make a cinema in Haiti because I'm Haitian. Yeah. So then like um, so I was always watching like action films and just horror films, like films of every every like you know uh genre mm -hmm. um I, I just didn't know i'd be making them <laughs> like I, I just i was just i just love watching them so being haitian and being from brooklyn like how has um that like influenced like your films like, being haitian kind of gives me like a a backbone of like where i'm from mm -hmm. and not to forget that mm -hmm. and then being from brooklyn you know it was like the, you know <laughs> you're from Brooklyn, you're like, you're shit already, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, that, you're like, no, the yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you learn that you always think about when you direct films? Um, it depends on the subject matter. Um, like, thinking about the audience and thinking about the content. I'm thinking about, like, if the story works for the, for whatever I'm trying to tell. Mm -hmm. And what really intrigues me the most is how, like, after, you know, how, um, it always starts off as an idea. At first, like any movie I make, like it always starts off as an idea, and mm -hmm. then like six months later, four months later, I have like a crowd of people watching it, 
And I'm just like, but that's good because then that know? just go to show that you are actually bringing your ideas to, to life. life. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm actually manifesting this shit. Yeah. It's like, oh, what you seen was once in my head. Um, I've learned a lot from making films as well. Like, mm -hmm. just the, the level of patience right. is needed to make a film, and just the level of like collaboration that goes into it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy because like you know you 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 think of like a scene in your mind. And then, you know, you have like a whole shot list of like how you want to shoot the film, how you want to shoot like that particular scene in this particular location. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the location and you're like, okay, yeah, okay, like this is different. You know, it's like now it's like the story don't change, but like now your story is being kind of like, um, it's like you gotta. You kind of rewriting it to fit the location, the right, right? Exactly. Because it's different from what you had in your mind, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, how do you stay consistent? Yeah, it's a passion thing, mm -hmm. and it's like you know what's crazy. Like, I didn't even know I did all that. No. Nah. Even after the awards, you didn't know. Nah, like, cause the way my head is, like, I'm always on the next one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, um, and like from the first, if you watch my first film, I did to the 23rd, like you will see the progression, you will see yeah. like, the growth in every single one of them. So the way I was looking at it was like, okay, um, I just wanted to get better every time I make a film. Mm -hmm. And I just, I was just obsessed with just the process of making it because like, I, cause film is like a, it's like a, it's like when you do it, it's not, it's like when you're painting mm -hmm. or like when you're writing poetry and stuff like that, which I, which I've done all I've done all of that shit because yeah. like um before I did a film I was dabbling into everything just ways to express yourself yeah yeah but yeah. I didn't, but I just didn't feel like it was being met the way I wanted it to yeah that makes sense film was the only thing that intrigued every interest mm -hmm. that I could think of so like when did you realize like was it that Godfather movie you would say when you wanted to like actually no mm -hmm. okay it was the it was the Trayvon Martin case, because mm. like Godfather intrigued me, but I still was laxy daisy with it. Right. I felt like when um, what happened with like Zimmerman not being, uh, not being indicted. Yeah. That's when I kind of woke up because at the same time I was just graduating from high school. Mm -hmm. So in high school you you you're you're kind of protected in a way you don't know the real world like that. You know everything is being. Everything is being given to you. So then like when you out of high school and you go and transition in from college, you gotta do things for yourself now. Yeah. And you out here in the real world, you gotta deal with real world shit. Mm -hmm. So then like around that time, that summertime, right before I graduated, that happened. And I was like, yo, this is this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I never and I never like knew the system was this bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, until, but until, now it's like it's just obvious right. at this point like but at, at that time like it was just an eye opener for me mm -hmm. and um then i ended up writing my first short film mm -hmm. um and then but that was the it's crazy it was my first short film i wrote but it was the fourth film i made <laughs> really yeah because i made three films before i before i decided that i wanted to tackle this one because i wanted to just dabble into filmmaking mm -hmm. so then um the first one I made, I was like, eh. second one, I was like, okay, I'm getting better. Third one, I was like, oh shit, I can't handle this. And then mm -hmm. the fourth one, which was the one I made, I'm like, I think I'm ready to make it. Yeah. And then when I made it, that was like, at the time, my most successful film. And it was only the fourth one I made. So I was like, because so it got accepted to like 13 film festivals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I won like two awards for it. Yeah. And I'm like, but this was the dope. only, but only four. It was like only, it was like just the fourth one. So I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like shit was just happening yeah. so quick. And then, yeah. so then, like, I was like, okay, when I when the universe like kind of like put that stamp, then I then I was like, I, I gotta keep, I gotta keep making films. Mm -hmm. I got That that's when I was like, I just want to get better. Yeah. And just get better with each film I made. So you doing like multiple screenings at different places? Like, what is some like feedback that you've gotten back? I mean, like memorable. Uh, uh so words. with New Panther. Mm -hmm. Right. New Panther was dope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with New Panther, uh, I remember like I was getting this title put on me, 
it was like, oh, you're a revolutionary or something like you're. And then I didn't feel like I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like that title. Not that I was shying away from that title. I just felt like to me, mm -hmm. it was too early to say that to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whereas I don't feel like I put enough work in for you to even say that. But people was really saying that after they saw it. But right? you know what's crazy? <laughs> Why do we feel that way though? Like, I don't we, know. Like, it's... Right now, no. Now if you say that, I accept it. Okay. <laughs> I accept okay, it now. Yeah, you see <laughs> I started to, I started to welcome that title more. Mm -hmm when i started to see how how when i started to see for myself how people would be impacted by the film you know like people crying they coming up to me they hugging me and stuff like they saying like they venting their it was it was opening up conversations yeah and that's what you always want when you're making a doc of that of that nature mm -hmm. to open up conversations and to just bridge the gap of like misunderstandings that people might have thought they knew about right and just to inform and then when i started to see how people was leaving with it then i was like okay i i, I think i know what people was trying to say way back but yeah. you know what i'm saying but like i just had to see it for myself right you know i just had That's to see pace it. right exactly too, sure. oh, bro, bro. okay my main goal is to have like a production company mm -hmm. Um, not just production company, but production studio, where like, you know, studio is doing both animation and film, mm -hmm. um, run by people of color, and to showcase people of color in the best possible limelight ever. And, as, and you know, to, um, to showcase, like, you know, to show different side of us. Mm -hmm. from, I just want to be the, um, at the forefront of like, you know, um, doing different narratives of black people and doing different like, like you know, cartoon shows mm -hmm. <laughs> that represent us in a way, mainly um, children cartoon shows, you know, um, because the youth, um, I'm focused on them more now than ever because they the future. What is like some advice you'll give um, someone who want to start studying film and directing? Um, I would just say like find your voice, and once you find your voice, don't compromise your voice. Mm -hmm. Just keep doing what you think um, you can contribute to the world, mm -hmm. and also like you know, um, yeah, just don't don't compromise that voice once you find it. Like mm -hmm. just. Find the voice, define it, define that voice as clear as possible, specific as possible, and just breathe life into it every day. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> you know? When you can vision it, when exactly. you see it. And just, and just, and just do it. You yeah. Know, just do it. <laughs> show. Yeah. So what's next, like, for you? Um, films? Yeah, right now, like, Red Paint, I, just, I released Red Paint. Mm -hmm. It's on Quali TV now. Mm -hmm. um, that's like a black Netflix for short film. Oh, for real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so that that's that's um Red Paint is on that is streaming on that uh, site now. What's the site? Quali TV. Quali TV. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's it's basically like a black black Netflix for short films. Mm -hmm. And they just showcase like you know people of color, filmmakers of color, and then you know, I was very happy when that film when they got picked up by them. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was hyped as fuck. <laughs> Red Red Paint is is basically about like an artist who has like little time to finish an artwork, and then oh, I yeah. think I've seen that yeah, 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 with yeah. the guy. With the guy and the girl, she was painting. Yeah. yeah oh know. yeah, I did watch that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that that got that got picked up. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was. Oh, cool. that's dope. Yeah. I like that. And then um, then um, I have another film coming out called A Child Again. Mm -hmm. it deals with like mental health issues. It deals with a family who's dealing with like a grandpa that's suffering from um, dementia. dementia. So that's. That 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 one that's gonna come out soon, and then um, I'm wrapping up New Panther, mm -hmm. and then I have a doc about Haiti. <laughs> mm. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. Uh, I'm excited to see. Thank you. Appreciate thank that. you for coming through. Yeah, of course, of course. For real. Course. Um, <laughs> where can they find you? 
Um, Instagram, Sage Love, um, S A G E L O V, the number three. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> gotta be different. You feel me? <laughs> and um, you can find my films on on YouTube at um A N P T V, and uh, yeah. I appreciate it for real. I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, Peace, y'all. Tune in. Make sure y'all watch. <laughs>